Hello my friends, I'm Duchess and welcome to my YouTube channel. For this week's video, I decided to do another redraw because it's fun and I think it's interesting to look at my old drawings and see how far I've come. Let's get started. Ever since I was like 6 years old, I've been obsessed with drawing and I draw for hours. I always drew in notebooks because I'm also obsessed with stationery and I loved having pretty and cute notebooks. I didn't get an actual sketchbook until much later, which is fine with me. I was fine with the notebook. This is one of my many notebooks that I drew in. I didn't mind drawing in notebooks because I would use the lines as guidelines for my drawings. It helped me draw proportions and just keep things even. I probably got this notebook when I was in middle school. I would have been 12 or 13, so that was about 5 to 6 years ago. I also like writing, so I'd write in my notebooks, but then I'd tear out the pages and shred it into a million pieces because I didn't like what I'd written. So if there are any pages torn out, that's probably the reason, or because I have a super hideous drawing that I didn't want anybody to see, ever. This notebook was mainly dedicated to drawing this one particular character, Elise Lee Van. I have created millions of OCs and I can hardly remember any of them. However, I always had this habit of writing their names and ages on the side of their heads, so I will always have their information somewhere. Or for most of my characters, I think that's what I've always done. So there's rarely any character that I've drawn that doesn't have a name. Born age. I think almost everyone wanted to be famous at one point in their life, and I did too. When I was younger, I wanted to be famous or be a celebrity like Taylor Swift, but I knew it wasn't realistic, so I drew my own celebrity characters. Like, I would make a world that kind of revolved around them, or like they were the celebrities in that world, and I just thought it was. I just thought it was really interesting, more interesting than being famous myself. So Elise Levan was one of my celebrity characters and she was an actress and a model, blonde and blue eyed and she was also tall. She used to take ballet classes and she was a dancer until she started acting and modeling. That's her backstory and I don't actually remember creating this backstory but based on the drawings that I've drawn of her, she used to be a ballet dancer so yeah. Every time I drew her in my notebook, I would sign her name at the bottom like it was her signing the paper so that's also how I knew it was her name. This one is the drawing that I chose to redraw. This drawing was the best looking one of Elise Levan so that's why I chose it. I also like the dress design and the way that her hair was like floating in the air. The outline of this drawing was super easy and took me about 3 minutes and then the sketch took me about 10-15 to 15 minutes. I was really happy with how it was turning out so far, I think it was going really quickly because I was super excited to draw this, like I just thought it was so fun. The inking took significantly longer, maybe 30 minutes to an hour. I kind of feel like the sketch looked nicer than the inking but it happens sometimes. For the colors, I tried to get similar colors to the ones in my drawing, but the picture quality wasn't the best, so I ended up changing the color slightly to make it brighter and more vibrant. Unfortunately, I forgot to screen record a good amount of the shading and decorating part of the drawing process, so I used Procreate's automatic recording. Sorry if the quality isn't as good. I changed the details of the dress a tiny bit, but I think it was for the better. I really did not know anything about clothing back then, so my clothes my designs never made any sense. The last thing I did was add highlights, makeup, sparkles, and some more light. I am done with free drawing Elise Lee Man. I must admit, I am really happy with how this turned out. I mean, she's supposed to be a celebrity and she kind of does look like she could be one. These two drawings were drawn five to six years apart and I am so proud of how much I have progressed since middle school. I also have literally all of my notebooks since I was younger, so I am probably going to make more of these videos. I really enjoy comparing the drawings and just looking at my old art and seeing how creative I was and all the stories that I was able to come up with. That's all I have for you guys this week. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. If you found it entertaining, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get notified. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you guys next week.